six and uh, hopefully get to the point where we can move on. So, um, where were we at? Lynn, are you, you going to? Uh, I've asked to prove two. Ah, so, um, so we've, we have um, eventually, we have looked at um, extending the ban in the area that was um, re suggested. However, the boundary is not a clear boundary. Um, and the, it's not, act, it, while it shows here as a stream, it's not at all clear that that is the boundary. And remembering that bans only apply to public places um, and not to private places, even when they're publicly accessible, unless the owner of the, uh, the private place agrees. And at this stage, we don't have the owner's agreement to extend the ban. Um, and I'm going to ask... Yeah, so the area uh, of question in public land, um, the church and school normally, um, if they were ringing police, police would attend those, those areas and deal with it under the Trespass Act anyways. So there's already legislation in place to cover those, those specific areas. Uh, if it's out on the street along those areas of concern, then it is captured within the proposed liquor ban area. Okay, so we can extend it out? No, 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 no so we're no, sticking no. with we're the sticking original plan. No. Okay. Happy with that. But um, it's on the both sides of the road. I think yeah. the map's slightly yes. misleading because it looks like it's only one side and it looks like those public roads are missed, but they're actually covered, which is good. And then if having four, if there is an issue with the church, that gives the ability for councillors to address it. So that makes sense. So, so did you have a question, Tyler? Uh, just a question around the signage. Uh, is there a sign that says the liquor ban ends here? The, uh, the, the signage will identify, basically the signage will include the map. Yeah, because it's technically a deterrent, right? And it's able for you guys to action leave before. So, I mean, that, that's a win. I don't think that's fine, yeah. And that, that's the importance of having clear, defined boundaries, and that's why we normally use streets. I see. Because it's just easier. When we're looking at a creek, which may or may not exist now, it's just not feasible. It doesn't work. Yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. cool. So, no, right. not the Any other questions? All right. So, you see the... Um, Item number four that's been written there. Do you understand that? Uh, so, so give, given the advice that's just been uh, provided to you, and given the fact that we can, in, with um, the use of the Trespass Act, ensure that the original objective is being met, there is no longer a need to subdelegate because the actual uh, proposal is in fact in keeping with what the council's intentions are. Right. So, recommendation four is removed. That's is that yes. correct? Mm -hmm. yes. That's what I was thinking. So we're back to square one. It's only taken an hour. Um, no, this is very good. It's good discussion. So no, it's great. So, did we have a mover and second of way back then? No. No, we didn't. So there, there's Mark's moving and Celeste seconding. Sorry. So any discussion? In debate, Aaron. Um, this is uh, this this is where I, I grew up on St John Street there, where we saw the picture of of the church on the corner, which is the great drinking church. Um, the uh, <coughs> that's its formal name. That's its formal name. The uh, and that was where I was baptised in that church, and it's where I went to youth group. Um, that's why I'm such a pillar of society now, uh, from the straight and narrow that they put me on. Uh, I'm fully supportive of this um, drinking alcohol ban in Wollstone. Weirdly, when I grew up there, you didn't really need it. Um, the behaviour in the area has changed considerably, and the shops and stuff have changed. It's no longer the village it once was. Uh, and so I do support this. But I also support liquor bans. I'd go for a blanket one across the entire city. I don't think drinking in public is cool, funny, or smart. Um, drinking is for bars, at home, in clubs. 
places where there's some form of responsibility. But you and your mates grabbing a box of woodies and heading down the local park, down the street or whatever to get chopped and then intimidate people in any neighbourhood, any park, any beach is not cool. And the sooner we move to it across the entire city, I think it'll help just steer people's behaviour. And then when for police enforcement going forward, it's just like, hey dudes, you can't drink on the street, pop into your property or whatever. It just tidies it up a lot. Otherwise, we do these piecemeal things everywhere, which is just moving along people who have got problems and are allowed to drink in public with their problems. It doesn't solve it. Uh, whereas guidelines help, and I think an alcohol ban is a guideline. It's going to be helpful here. It's just a tool. It's not going to solve the problem. It's not dream. But uh, it will be helpful and give some powers to the police when they need to use them. So fully supportive. Thank you, Aaron. So, Kelly? Yeah, I, I totally agree with Aaron and totally support this uh, and would love to see a city-wide uh, drinking ban so that people don't drink in parks and, and places like that. I think it sends a really clear message uh, and I'm really excited for the people of Wollstone to, to be able to bring this ban into place. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Mark? Yeah, I just want to um, speak to it and say that, look, empowering our communities to have control is really what, as a council, we, we need to be about. And having this alcohol ban into Wolston to give them the ability to control problems in, in their village, I think is absolutely fantastic. And the more we can do this around the city to, to help give the community the tools they need, I think the better it is for all of us. So certainly supportive. Thank you. Thank you, that's very good. So no more, yep, I'll put the motion. All those in favour? Aye. Those against? Great, carry.